All right, guys, love it or hate it, love them or hate them, Magpul does make some pretty in, ingenious products. And I find myself going back to them over and over and over again. Now, this right here is another one of those. This is a rifle that I've tried to keep as light as possible. Though it does weigh in at about 14 pounds with the 24 inch uh, LMT 224 match grade stainless barrel, you know, I didn't want to add more weight to it. I didn't want it creeping up anymore, but I was really unhappy with the typical AR stock that I had from, from before. It lacked adjustment. The angle of the butt stock actually came in like so and it prevented it from sitting stably on in the pocket of my shoulder. I also got tired of trying to mess around with gluing foam pads on and all that entailed. And I was finding that the glue was coming undone after a lot of days in the field and it was like something that needed more upkeep than it was worth. And when I found out about the Magpul PRS light stock, I actually went out and bought one, I think within a day. And I was lucky I found it locally and yeah, I had it in my hands very quickly. Now, the stock has three different adjustments with it. It has a vertical adjustment for the butt pad. It has a length of pull adjustment. You can see this gap right here. That is adjusted by a pinch bolt on the back here and two cross bolts that, well, I guess there are three pinch bolts, but there's three adjustments. And then you have the height, the comb, uh, height adjustment right here and that pretty much allows you to set it up however you want to and as ergonomically as possible and actually yes there is a fourth adjustment because you can actually turn the butt pad and angle it one way or another now I don't for this gun because this is a gun that is is obviously a very tactically orientated gun and I want to be able to shoot left or right handed from it because I shoot left or right handed long range now, the other thing that really pushed me to this, this buttstock, was this. Uh, you need to have some kind of a bag rider if possible. It's much preferable to, uh, to not having it. And as you'll probably notice, a lot of buttstocks for ARs come out, come back, so that, you know, this is an easy place to grab their rifle and pick it up or whatever. And because you're just you're putting it away in different places. You need to be able to grab it, withdraw it from a vehicle or something like that, for instance. And they're trying to keep weight low. So what they did with here, this stock, is they actually cut a lot of the material out that the old stock had and then added it into here. Now this makes for a fantastic, fantastic setup. I mean, this has really just dialed this gun in even more than it was. And I was already shooting this thing to a mile as it was. Or no, I should say I was shooting it to like 1,500 and something meters and change. So pretty close to a mile. And I was loving the gun except for that. Now, I wanted, I also wanted it to be perfectly like symmetrical from side to side uh, as well. So that I could actually run my uh, Delta Point Pro from, Le from Leopold, Leopold, however you want to say it, on the side of this thing. And I wanted that to turn this gun into, you know, um, something that I could use for uh, just just about every situation. Because there's going to be times where you can only carry or have one rifle, especially if you're in some kind of tactical situation or you're responding to something. You may need to be carrying it and moving with it. And you're not going to have time to, you know, be switching rifles. It just really depends on the situation. So I saw there as being a potential need for that. So I threw the red dot on the side of it. And you will see that here. So that's this, this little baby right here. It is night vision compatible. The scope is night vision compatible. This is uh, basically the full meal deal. So that's the Magpul PRS Lite stock. And uh, yeah, let's do some shooting. 576.